What's up, YouTube? Back again with another video. Now, check it out. This rose gold. Now, check it out. Uh, I just made a video about why some people outside looking in or looking at this Dolph situation in the Cookie Monster Shop at this particular time sideways a little bit. Now, she was on her live. She said a couple things that stuck out again. She says, now, last video I brung up about the Butterific sister said she seen off. But see, she's saying the news reporter lady said it, which she did. She said it as well. Um, so I'm going to correct that on my end as far as, let's just say, Butterific sister did not say that, but the news reporter said that, right? As if she, as if the Butterific sister told her this shit, that she seen her daddy served off, what, two chocolate chip and a scoop of ice cream, man. Because the only way, because I'm thinking, I thought this from, uh, when first, <coughs> excuse me, when Dolph first died, I thought the same thing, like, well, if that's the case. And she didn't say that, but the news reporter lady said it. How does she know that? That Dolph likes two chocolate chip cookies when he comes in town and a scoop of ice cream. I guess everybody in Memphis knows Dolph likes two chocolate chip and a scoop of ice cream. We can say that. Right? Let's just say that's what happened. Everybody knows. Even the damn news reporter knows this shit. That he always orders that. Okay. Well, if that's the case, that's not the problem, is it? The problem is, who told the reporter lady that? So if the sister didn't tell her that, it's just that, that always confused me as well. It's like, how does she know that? Everybody knows that? The whole world didn't even know that. You know, big fans of Dolph didn't even know that. That his, you know, he like... Them two chocolate chip and a scoop of ice cream from the Cookie Monster shop. You know what I'm saying? And then she says, well, I corrected. I called up there to the news place, and guess what? I told them, you know, correct that, retract that statement. But it, but And she says, but the story was so far gone that I guess it just blew over, whatever. No, if you didn't say something, that can possibly, if any, if anything, get the people riled up. Why would you let that stay out there? Uh-uh. I'm talking to the news people. You're going to take that shit down. You're going to come back out and say, no, I didn't tell you that. You said that. Wasn't no big fuss about that, though. See what I'm saying? On their end. So, that was a comeback right there saying... You didn't say that. You did not see your daddy serving Dolph. It's one thing that everybody knows Dolph gets two chocolate chip and ice cream, if that's true. Even the reporter lady knows. But it's another thing when she also lied and said that the butterific sister said her daddy served Dolph too. So she made that up too. Like, damn. And with all that being said, why? Is the news reporter interviewing her when she wasn't there? Neither neither one of them was there. And she wasn't there when the Cookie Monster girl was doing her interview on Airway. So I, that's why I'm confused. Now that goes right with the video I just made on people from the outside looking in. Look at them sideways, because what's up with that? Right? The hell is up with that? So you can't treat this Dolph situation as if, oh, man, y'all y'all digging too much. Y'all, y'all capping and all this, and y'all, you know, thinking too hard on shit when it comes to Dolph. No, the world loved Dolph. This is not no, you know what I'm saying? This is young Dolph. I really true believe a lot of people 
thought that wasn't nobody going to give a damn about Dolph. Well, y'all suckers thought wrong. You can't treat Dolph Case like that. Nobody can. Nobody can sit, you know, around and try to treat the Dolph Case as if it was, it, it, he ain't shit. That's because you wasn't a fan. That's because you didn't know the man behind the plan. You see what I'm saying? You didn't know him. You didn't care to get to know him. Not even through his music. So that's what I'm saying. About the the story about who served off and doggone me what, what the Butterific sister said she seen. And the reporter reports this. You about could lose your job over some shit like that that a person didn't say. And what's crazy is the lady is saying that right there in her face. You mean you didn't correct her right then and there? That's why I was like, she gets butterific sister goes on a on a, pl a YouTube platform and says, I don't because somebody asked her about that. Right? And she says, I don't remember what I said. I got to go back and look at it. Sick of this shit. So, that's why I had to come back on that part, man. Uh, just a lot of miscommunication to the people. The people can't clear your name if, or can't even help you clear your name. Not enough of the people. If every time we turn around, like this brick wolf pack thing, he comes out to say something. And it's a big ass deal. That's his, that's what he said. And it wasn't incriminating. So think about it. Why don't you want the man to say something? Why he can't say nothing? He knew Dolph. Why he can't say nothing? I feel like it's not about why he say why he can't say something. Why he waits so late to say something? Message get to this. Why? I'm asking. I'm looking at that part too. Why you wait so long to say something though? Hmm. All of this shit is strange. When you really think about it. Strange. Why now? Why why he say something now? Cause he done started some shit. Now nah, message, he done started some shit. <clears throat> so people, what y'all think about this? See, that's my thing. I hate that part. Like, how how does she get interviewed? And this is my thing. The Butterific sister is in one of these cookie shops when the reporter is saying this stuff, people. I don't know if they was on Airways or at the other one, at the Butterific shop. But that's my thing, too. Why would they go to the Butterific shop interviewing people over there when it happened on Airways? So, did you come to, you know what I'm saying? Did you come to, uh... I'm writing something down because I, I want to talk about it next. Uh, so did you come to the one on Airways? You know what I'm saying? To help clean up or something? And that's when she interviewed you? I mean, come on, make it make sense. So now we finna get off of that. Before I forget about this. Last thing I'm going to say. Then she was on her live and she said something about cookies on the counter. Because it seemed like everything I was saying, she was saying on her live. You see? So, not saying she talking to me. I'm just saying. Uh, So, cookies on the counter. So, she said, y'all want to know what he ordered and stuff. This is how you know what he ordered. Because on the counter was still his order. Two lemon, two strawberry. But I could have sworn... Dolph didn't get his whole order out. Because he took a phone call and moved over to the left. 
So if the man didn't get his whole order out, how is half his order up there? So the only way I can see that making sense is if he's saying, give me two lemon. I'm already getting the lemon. Not ringing shit up yet. I'm just putting it in the bag and two strawberry. Okay, two strawberry. Oh, let me take this phone call. You, that's the only way I can see that is if you bagging it right then and there. And then you're going to total his total up. But who charges Dolph for some damn cookies? Message. Who do that? Right? <clears throat> and who the hell was he on the phone with? But anyway. So that's my thing. The only way I can see his cookie still being on the counter, people, is if, she, just like I said, you're bagging him as soon as he's saying, I want this, I want that, right? So, if you're not doing that, there's no way some damn cookies is on the counter. Because I can't see, they said when he got, when he took that phone call, went to the left, immediately, <clears throat> that's when the shots rang out. So, if that's the case, nobody has time you on the phone, you say, well, let me bag his two lemon because I know he won't them. It didn't have time to come back to the damn counter. Uh-uh, because what the damn cash register lady say? When he took that phone call, I seen two guys get out their car and they walked up. By the time they was at the hump where you park, <clears throat> they got to shooting. I mean, she seen big guns. That's what I meant to say. And next thing you know, she just got the hell up out of there. Didn't dunk down, say, ah, and that's another damn thing. Didn't even say, didn't even... How you going to see people walk up with two weapons? I can see you running, but you say nothing like, ah, gun, Dolph, get down. So you mean tell me you run straight to the back or, or do you duck down first? I think the, I think my instance would probably be to duck down, bro. But I don't know. Everybody's different. But I tell you how we not so different. It's natural for black people to say something, bro. Even if it's yelling, even if it's not to get your attention, it's just, it's natural to, to say something and run, bro. You see what I'm saying? So how the hell is the man cookies on the damn counter? Because nobody ever said, oh, they were bagging the cookies up as, you know, do they do it like that? Do they bag up your cookies as you saying it? Then they total you up? Because he wasn't done with his damn order. So how do you know what all he was going to order? I'm talking about his order. That ain't all his damn order. You said he was in the middle of ordering. This the shit I be talking about. Every, see, it's, it's repetitive because I've said, I feel like deja vu because every time she comes out, it's some different shit. Or it opens up old wounds. And it's like, just don't say shit. That's why I was like, in my last video, come they come out immediately to say something about this brick wolf pack. And he didn't even say shit. All he said was, Dolph went up there to to to, to, to give you $5,000 to, to rent out the parking lot to do the turkey drive. That's not a big deal to make a big deal about it. Cuss the man out. And you don't know me, and that's a lie. And why is that so big of a deal that he said that? That he said he wasn't up there for no cookies. He was up there for that because you, because it's looking like. Let me tell you what it's looking like. It's looking like somebody don't want the world to know that he wasn't up there for cookies. Because what it's looking like now, like always, he wasn't up there for no cookies. <clears throat> He was never up there for cookies. We all heard about the, oh, the money type of thing he was up there for. No, I ain't finished, nigga. My office is a trap house in South Memphis, nigga. Where this damn office at? What office does Dolph have in South Memphis? My trap house is an office in South Memphis? Think about it. I'm going to tell you like this. If I was in this situation and young Dolph <clears throat> lost his life 
in my establishment. And the world thought I had something to do with it. I would not say anything. Especially if I don't have anything to do with it, I'm never saying anything. If I was getting threats when that first happened and the police had to escort me out my house to my house to my establishment and all this shit, that's enough to make me want to move. That's just me. Everybody thinks different. You know, you got some people like them. Like, I ain't running from nothing. You know what I'm saying? I live here. What, what, what? I get it. I, I, okay, some people might not move, but I would not say anything. I wouldn't be listening to these bloggers and shit. No. Because I know the truth. You feel me? And if I felt like a blogger was dragging me to hell like that, oh, they channel would be gone. But see, that's the thing. Channels are still up. I wonder why. People want the truth. Because if you're willing to drag this out, you know what I'm saying, for clout. Like she said on her live, oh, I'm back famous. Because people's on your ass about Dolph and you talking about, oh, oh, I'm back famous. How is that telling the world you really fuck with Dolph like that? And I know they don't owe the world anything, any explanation. That's why I would never say anything. Message, get to this. You understand now? That's exactly why I wouldn't say nothing from the jump. I wouldn't jump on platforms saying this and saying that. Talking about, I'm clearing my name. Now, I want my truth out. Man, fuck all that. The hell is you talking about? It would have never, let me tell y'all something. It would have never, ever, ever been a problem for people to look in the Cookie Monster Shop direction. If she would have never came out and said what she said, the very first statements, right after the doll, she was the first statements. Hmm? If you didn't know certain shit, you should have never said it. And another thing with this, why didn't they interview the workers that were in their working message? Get to this. What happened to that shit? She's been the spokesperson ever since Dolph has died for their side. She's been the spokesperson. The brother came out one time, shout out to Ratchet TV. Ratchet TV had him on there on his Instagram. He put it on YouTube. Caught him up in some shit. It's crazy. Why say anything? Why, look, why continue to say anything? This shit's pissing me off, man. I'm fucking back mad. You think you're going up two steps and then next thing you know, this all it took for me to get angry like that about this Dolph case again was for Brick Wolf Pack to come out talking about Dolph didn't go up there for no fucking cookies. So now I, so now I ain't tripping off why he really went. I'm tripping off he didn't go for no cookies. Why the hell would you tell us he went for cookies then? And this is part two of why the people are looking from this, looking at this from the outside, looking in, saying something ain't right. You see what I'm saying? And why they looking at the Cookie Monster shop all these type of ways because of everything she says. It ain't even about what the mama say, the daddy say, the other, well, the other sister, yeah, she says, you know, or try to say she didn't say something. But at the same time, it's most, it's, it's her. I feel like just don't say nothing, baby girl. Just shut up. Real talk. Just shut it up. Don't say shit. You got a spokesman over there on his channel. Let him talk about shit. Because when you say something, God damn it, it's, look, fuck. It's like when she talks about Dolph, it... It's always the, 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 the... The not the thing to say. She always says the thing not to say. 
<laughs> y'all let me know how y'all feel about this in the comments, man. Message.